Hi all my friends, um, how are you guys doing? <laughs> I have some news that actually I have known for a couple of years now that I had an eye doctor diagnose. Um, actually both my eyes I've been struggling with floaters and then, um, you know, so I always have these little spider floaters, you know, that just kind of float around past my eyes, but not so bad that I, you know, it bothers me so much to, to live with. So I just said, that's okay. I'll leave it alone for now. And then through time, though, I started to have um, impaired vision in this eye. So it started to um, just develop a problem with the, the fluid in the eyes changes as you get older. And so, like I've always said, I'm probably 12 to 15 years older than I look. And uh, one of these times I'm going to have you guys, I'm going to do a guessing game. And we'll do a thing on what is my real age. And have you guys try to guess it. And see who can come the closest to it. But anyways, but for now. Um, so, as you age, the fluid in the eyes um, changes. And so that's been an issue. And then I think it was about two years ago that they started noticing in this eye, the doctor, the eye doctor, that I was getting macular edema um, or just a, a edema kind of problem in there, inflammation. And it's been holding its own, so it's been doing really well. So I haven't been worried about it. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I would say in the last month, it's been really giving me some problems. And I wear contact lenses. And so now, uh, every time I try to put my contact lens in, it really starts to bother me. It, it you know, it will, my eye always hurts now in the last month. It's been feeling um, like there's something in my eye all the time and or, you know, stabbing pain or just feels like something's in my eye. And then now I've been having a lot of um, inflammation that's happening in the corner and all up and around the eye. So it's really starting to bother me a lot and I'm getting concerned because I see the doctor on the 7th and I'm supposed to be leaving and before Thanksgiving you know I need to be gone out of here all the way until springtime and so I'm concerned what's going to happen but I will uh, call the insurance company that I'm under now and find out if they will cover eye treatment I know they don't cover for lenses and, and, and things like that or vision, but I think because this is a medical condition, I believe that they will have to cover it, but I'm not 100% sure. And also if there will be enough time to deal with this issue before I need to leave. So I'm, I am very concerned right now what's going to happen, but I know I do better by not wearing my contact lenses. So right now I'm just filming kind of blind. <laughs> But um, I do wear glasses, and so I'm going to do the big reveal of my glasses, you guys. I have actually two two pairs, so this is me with my glasses on. Maybe I'll look more smart, huh? <laughs> but anyways, um, so sometimes I may have to wear my glasses, and then I do have prescription ones that I can wear when I'm driving. And then I have a, the bigger kind that are kind of in style that I use mostly inside here when I'm like reading or in the evening and, you know, they have the uh, the bifocal um, that slow, slowly transitions so you can't notice it. So I have that. <laughs> so I'll be covered um, no matter what, you know, on my trip, what I'll need to use. But so I'm just very, very concerned what's going to happen if I can't get in and see an eye doctor before I leave. <laughs> so keep that in your thoughts or all my, you know, Christian friends prayers on what's going to happen with this um, macular edema inflammation. I think that's the root cause of this, but I, you know, because I've been told I have this, but it's never given me any problems, of course, until now when I'm trying to leave. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, my friends. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Now I'm going to give you an update what's been happening um, in, in my life in upcoming videos that, that I'll be sharing with you guys, okay? 
Oh, and before I share what's um, coming up, I also want to say why too that's so important. There's two couple reasons I really need to get out, um, no matter what, with this eye issue is um, for one the weather because the weather I want to get out of here uh, just to be in in better weather obviously through the winter would be really nice and the other thing is I have a personal issue that I need to take care of as I go through California before I get to Arizona um, so I need to take care of a really important matter and so uh, that's going to be one of my focuses and then also seeing two friends as I travel through California there's two fam or friends that I grew up with as as a child and I am just so excited about meeting up with these friends again but also mainly to take care of a really important matter so that's another reason that I don't know I, I know if there's a real emergency situation I can see a doctor in anywhere along my travels uh, if it's an emergency situation but um, I don't want it to get that far <laughs> so anyways um, yeah so I just wanted to say why it's so important that no matter what <laughs> I get out <laughs> all right so maybe I'll be delayed a little bit but remember the past um, there is this past that I need to get over and it gets crazy anytime past Thanksgiving I'll have to put chains on always watch the weather um, if there's a storm coming through or snow it's just really high elevation, high percent or, or a lot of uh, uh, percent grades of descending and climbing. So I just really don't want to have to deal with that pass after Christmas. Or, I mean, uh, after Thanksgiving. So anyways, that's kind of what's going on. It's never boring in my world. All right. So now some exciting though stuff that's been going on i'm going to share a glimpse of videos or topics of videos that will be coming up here in the future okay in just about a week or so a week to two weeks all right so i'm going to talk about what's coming um up here uh, i do need to wear these because it is a little bright out here uh, just with the clouds and my eyes are sensitive to the light so these are my prescripted sunglasses but anyway so here's Buster and he has his vet visit today so the vet will be giving me um, you know uh, an update on how his eyes are doing so I'll have a live update tomorrow um, sort of live I guess or real time tomorrow on his eyes and vet visit there's milo hanging out okay and then also what's coming up is i've been a busy lady <laughs> the last week i have been putting solar on my van so i will be releasing videos that will be talking about my solar how much solar i have and uh just the whole system it is just an amazing system that uh, AM Solar is who I went through um, put together for me. So they are just amazing. I can't wait to share everything that um, they did for me. So there is a peek at it, and I'll I'll you have to wait for the video to find out how much I have, how many watts, and then also I have a max fan that was installed. I'm so excited about that. It has been so sweet. I'm telling you everything that's been done. And then I also have a Dometic refrigerator that's been installed and I'll talk about its installation as well. So a lot of cool things coming up that's been going on in my life, okay? So other than, you know, just this eye thing, gosh, I just hope I can get my eye situation taken care of um, because when when I have my um, my prescriptions on and or contacts this eye like I said is always still even more slight slightly impaired they can't ever bring it to a 100% good vision even when I have corrected lenses on it so um, but otherwise I don't think my vision has changed or been impaired more so that's good news but I also realized how important our sight is just the gift of sight um, so every time I'm out traveling around and I'm looking at all beautiful you know scenery and stuff like this it means so much more to me in my world that I just have the 
ability still to be able to see when I'm also struggling with some stuff going on with the eyes. <laughs> All right, so, well, um, till the next video and the updates of it, all the least the cool things that's happening and then I'll let you know after I see the doctor on the 7th what she says and uh, just keep you informed of what's going on with my eyes and everything else okay so I love you guys and gals and all my friends out there and I will see you in the next video